Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Michael Nerby here with eight tips for when you're interviewing agents, what questions to ask. Let's redo that. Hey, what's happening everybody? Mike Nerby here with Internal Real Estate Services, your East Sacramento specialist. Hey, what's happening everybody? Michael Nerby here, here today with your eight questions, key questions to ask when interviewing agents to help you sell your home. Now, there are a lot of agents out there, let's just be perfectly honest, and there is a whole spectrum of quality, right? From somebody who has just started out and has no experience to somebody who has uh, a ton and ton of experience, been in the game for maybe 30 years. And on that spectrum of experience, there's also your spectrum of quality. Even somebody who's new might have better customer service, might be more with it, might be more ethical than somebody who's been in the game for a long time, maybe only does one or two transactions per year, and the quality is strikingly different. The basic point here is, guys, that you have a ton of options out there when choosing an agent, and these questions here today will kind of help you dive in and pinpoint on some of those most important things to ask an agent when they're coming over and you're interviewing them to help you sell your house. Number one, most important question is, how are you going to market my house? This is really the meat and the potatoes that I like to say from you when you, in your listing presentation and your listing interview. You know, so if you have people who talk about open houses, putting it on the internet, and you know, maybe putting an ad out there, trust me, that's not enough. You need somebody with a substantial marketing plan, with proven results-oriented marketing materials and strategy. That's really what you're looking for. And if you hear only one or two points, you really need to dive deeper with them on a more substantial marketing plan. They need to be out there hustling a little bit harder than that. Number two, I think that you need to definitely ask, obviously at some point during the interview, you're gonna come up with the value of your home. You're gonna go over what's called the comparable properties around your house. In real estate, you know, in residential real estate, the housing value comes from the comparable properties around yours. A buyer would be looking at, if your house is a three bedroom, two bath house, 1500 square feet, you can safely assume that if there's one in this same neighborhood, three beds, two baths, 1500 square feet, the same buyer is gonna be looking at both of those houses. That's what we're talking about, comparing this to this, our comps comparable sales. So we have that discussion during our listing presentation and you have the agent there in front of you and they're going to go over that information with you. Now if they're picking up comparable properties that just don't fit with your property, red flag. And also if you have two agents come in, tell you, you, tell you that your house is worth 600000 and then the third agent comes in and tells you that it's worth 700000 I'd say pump the brakes a little bit and ask yourself why. So that's number two. Number three is, you know, ask them how much has your business changed over the last five years? And this will really give you a good insight into how the agent thinks and reacts to different market conditions. Because over the past five years, we've seen different market conditions and different things come into the business that affect how real estate agents sell houses. So if they're not talking about how technology has impacted their business, I would say that's another red flag. You need to be having an agent telling you, you know, they're using different technologies, different platforms on the internet, because we are, it's proven that more and more buyers and sellers for that matter are starting their search online. So you wanna make sure that they have a good answer for how their business has changed over the past five years. Our next is, you know, we want to have this agent tell you how they were surprised in their last two transactions. Maybe something that surprised you about that transaction is what I would ask them. You know, so you every agent has their success story 
and they can just pump you full of how they got things done the right way. But maybe there's more interesting side about two things that surprised you or something that you learned from. Because we know that every transaction, you know, something may go wrong. And it's the agent's responsibility to help you weave your way through those obstacles. And you want to see how they think and how they react and how they dealt with other surprising situations in the past. Next, you want to ask, what's your specialty? Okay, because let's say you're selling a condo, that is a much different buyer set than if you're selling a million dollar house compared to also a senior community, different buyer. So if you are a seller in a, you know, a specific area, even a neighborhood, you really gotta ask this question about what's your specialty? What do you specialize in? Because you would hate to have yourself find the agent who's really good with buyers and sellers, 55 years old and older, in you know, a specific community that's you know, there uh, for older folks, if you're trying to sell a house that's outside of that area, maybe something that's a high dollar mark listing or in a different part of town. So really asking what's your specialty is really gonna do you a lot of good. Next is, you know, how many people are you currently selling for and what are you doing for them? Now, you can get agents who are coming in and they have 15 transactions going on at the same time and that's perfectly okay, just you have to expect that you're not gonna get as hands-on of an experience as you might expect. I mean, you have to go into it understanding that they have a lot of transactions going on and you may be dealing with their agent more, or sorry, their assistant more so than the agent directly. And also on the other side of the spectrum, you may have somebody who has no sales, no listings going on right now, and you may also want to kind of slow down, dig a little bit deeper and find out what exactly is going on there. Next, we have, you know, you want to ask this agent what they expect of you as the seller. Every good agent knows how buyers think and they know specifically about the buyers that are interested in your property and how they might think and go about moving towards your property. Now, you really want to have this agent um, answer this question, you know, hey, what do you expect out of me as the seller? Because, hey, they're going to have things that they're going to want you to do around the house. And this is a great insight into, is the agent going to be open and flexible, giving you feedback on your house as you move through the transaction? Or are they going to keep things from you? You want open lines of communication, and you want them to suggest things to do around your house because inevitably there's going to be things that need to be done around the house in order to prep it for sale. So that's a fantastic question. Last one here is, you know, Last thing, it's always worth asking if you can talk to some of their previous clients. At the bare minimum, you should be looking through their Zillow reviews, on their website, testimonials, and then the next step further would be you know, asking for one or two clients that you could maybe call and check in and see how that transaction went. You might gain some other valuable insights that you might not pick up during the listing presentation. So. We have those eight seller questions to ask when interviewing an agent to help you sell your house. Number one, how are you gonna market it? Number two, how much is my home worth? You know, number three, how has your business changed over the past five years? Number four, tell me how your last two deals surprised you. Number five, what's your specialty? Next. How many people are you selling for right now and what are you doing for them? Seven, what do you expect of me as the seller? And lastly, number eight, you know, can you talk, allow me to talk to one of your previous clients? Hey, thanks for tuning in today, guys. I'm Mike Nervy. If you have questions at all, feel free to reach out and I would be happy to help you guys. If you have selling questions, buying questions, whatever it is, anything real estate related in Sacramento, I'm excited to help you. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a great day.